All right, here we have the MNC Color Four, uh, Color Pro. Sorry, number four of the f four uh, locks I received in that package of MNC. Uh, I think this upgrade it went color to Color Pro to Color Plus, and I think they might have just been like drill protection type upgrades. I don't know if there was upgrades to the pick resistance, but this one uh, expect like we did in the other ones: tapered key pins, spooled tapered drivers, and non gated sliders. Um, it has six pins up top. They look staggered left and right, so it might be a little bit tighter um, crunch on the key pins, like a little bit compressed. And the sliders are pushed to the right via springs, so we're not going to be able to get on them with hooks um, like we did in the um, MNC Condor video. So what I'm going to do is just normal tension, and I have a Elite G Pro hook number six here. Oh my gosh, there's a gnat bugging me. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and look for binding pins. So pin number one springy, pin number two binding slightly. There we go, little click. Pin number three binding also. Little click, more pl uh, plug rotation. Four might be binding. Five and six feel springy. Come back to the front. One seems like it's binding. Little click there, just tiny click. Um, two. Two might be binding. It's hard to tell. So the shaft of the pick is resting on top of the uh, the slider nubs. So it's messing with my feedback a little bit. Two seems to be... I'm going to let off tension a little. That will allow uh, those tapered peak, key pins to drop if they're, if they're overset at all. Yeah, I don't feel it from two anymore. But I do feel it from three. There we go. I'm going to let off a little. Because I didn't drop back into the full false set when I hit three there, it seems. Let off a little. Doesn't seem to want to drop at all. One is springy. Two seems to be binding a little. A little click from two. Go back to the front. One's still springy. Two springy. Three seems to have dropped. A little click there. Uh, a little bit of plug rotation, and this gnat is driving me crazy. Sorry about that. All right, one seems to be binding. Little click there. Um, look for any binders. All right, six. No, five. No. Huh. One. Two. Little click from two. Let's see if one dropped at all. It did. There's a click from one. Four. Six. Five. Oh my gosh, this gnat. Might have to start over with this this gnat. This is like messing with my concentration. Um, all right, one, two, three, five. Six. That's all right. Maybe I have an oversight key pin a little bit, so I let, let the all right one again. There we go. Got a little plug rotation this time, so that's always a good sign. Um, all right, this pin right here. I'm not sure which one it is. All right. Got a little click out of it. I don't know which one it was, but it was binding, so I pushed on it. That's how you should treat most of your locks. Two again, just sliding under it seemed to give me a little plug rotation. Same thing with three. And one. Go to the back. All right, whatever this one is here, a little click there. Pulse the tension again. One again. There we go, one. Gave me a little plug rotation. Two, three. Right, the ones towards the back feel set, so it's got to be like two and three drop down while setting them or something like that. So let's check two again. Oh, two again. Click from two. One again. And dropping further and further into false sets as we as we work through these. Three again. thought it was, but maybe not. One again. 
Maybe that's not three, maybe that's four. Five and six. All right, so six is here. Five is here. Four. Three gave me a click. Two. Let off any sort of overset pins. And two again. One again, and we dropped into a pretty deep false set there. Um, that's probably the top pins at this point. So we'll go ahead and take a look at these sliders. I got a uh, multi pick number 10. It's a little too tall to like get at those sliders straight up and down. Like I, I can't go any further straight up and down. So what I'm doing is I'm going to turn it to the right and drop into like a gap of each slider on the right and then can't, uh, rotate it clockwise to push on the slider like that. Rather than try to fish behind the slider like that and push it, I can go all the way to the right, drop into a gap. Let's see if I can demonstrate as I push it back. I will encounter at some point, and this is with, true with many slider locks. You see that part right there? I get right there and it drops down. So now I'm to the right of a slider. I can rotate clockwise and there I'm pushing on a slider. So let's try that again. Go till I drop and I'm pushing on a slider that's binding. So let's go ahead and push on it. Slider number one. Drop further into false set as I got that one. Then I go to this next slot if I can find it. There we go. This one is springy. Next slot. Also springy. Next slot should be four. No. So if I go too far and I don't find it, then I come back a little and rotate it slightly because I could be going over top of it. Our force feels like it's binding. So I'll go ahead and push that. There we go. So now it's free. And I lost my uh, where I was at because I went too far. So I'm going to start at the beginning to try to get back to five, uh, counting my chambers again. So there's one. Still springy. Two. Oh, two's binding now. And we're open. Okay. So um, two was springy the first time through until I hit four, and then I came back and hit two, and it set us loose. So that's the MNC Color Pro. Let's take a look inside. Turn on some autofocus here. I didn't need to unplug that, I guess. Um, all right. So we got. Uh, lock it back up. There we go. Take this clip off the back. I haven't looked inside this one yet, so I'd be curious to see. It felt just like the other one, so I, I'm, I don't expect to see anything different. Uh, sliders are on the... I'll just turn it this way. Sliders are on the right. I don't think it matters. Push that out. Caught the sidebar just barely. So there's a sidebar underneath. It is just flat. One spring came out, the other spring's still in there. So let's face the front there. And that was the back spring. Grab it. Grab the front spring. There we go. Um, okay, so there's no. There's no. Um, that none of those pin control pins like we saw on the Condor. It does look like it has the same kind of little insert here like the Condor did. And six top pins staggered left and right. And five sliders there held captive by the key. So let's see if we can get any of these top pins to come out. All right, number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five. I hate bashing on this nice little tray, but meant to be used. There's four, three, two, two looks like a steel one for anti-drill as is one steel key pins. So I guess they did both of those steel because they're to protect one stack and protect the other stack. All right, pull the key out and now I'll reveal the sliders. They're, they have springs, so I was holding my thumb over it so they don't go shooting out. All right, slider number one, two, three. Oh, interesting. Four, and then five. What I was 
thinking was interesting is there's a different spacing between four and five. You see the wider spacing? I'm not sure why that is, um, but it could mess with you if you're trying to feel for the next one and wondering why you don't get to it. I never actually went all the way back to five because I I gotten four and I went and I, I had spun it too far, so I wanted went to start back at the beginning to try to count my way back again, and then I, that's when I got to two and it just opened. So I guess five is like a no lift or something like that. There should be springs in here. There we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Nothing special going on here. There's a ledge down there, and that's just so that the key pins don't drop through. And that's why these have like a little ledge to them. Let's see if they have the um, tapering I was talking about. Uh, not, they do have like a little bevel here, but not the same kind of taper that the, uh, the, key, the key pins in the other locks had. So just a little bevel, so not quite the same. Uh, same looking um, driver pin and uh, that front drill protection is not a chamber. Uh, number two is also steel. Let's take a look at those really quick actually. So yeah, they are the same style. They are a spool at the end and then slight and it has a taper out. So it tapers out. To, and that feels a little bit similar to if there's a taper on the key pin. In this case, a little bevel on the key pin. Um, all right. That one's a brass. Oops. And these key pins are all uh, have like a hole in the back that the, the spring can sit down in. Which is convenient for when you're assembling it. You can rest the pin on top of the spring and then push down on it. I like that about all these MNCs. There's the uh, sidebar groove down at the bottom. And uh, that's what we got. Let's do a closer look. Staggered back and forth on the key, like that. And the sliders go in there. The sliders themselves, oh, they do have a false gate on them. Look at that. Did not notice a single one of them though. Oh my gosh, that gnat again. Yeah, and it, uh, the false gate can catch, can catch the um, sidebar. So, I wonder why I didn't notice any of those. Uh, I had pushed number one really far. Um, so it would have started like that. I pushed that one. I'm pretty sure I pushed it this way. Oops, sorry. I'm pretty sure I pushed it like that because this would be the outside. Uh, oh no, it, it, it's the spring has it pushed in to the keyway all the way. No? No, oh, okay, so the spring pushes it out to here. These ones would be with the, the slanted side is usually facing out on anything like this, so I'm guessing they would go in like this. That's number one, let's put it in. Like that, I put the key in. Yeah, so the, the true gate is lined up there. You can see that pretty well. See how it's blocked? Open, right? So that means that you'd be pushing from the side that is sloped. So yeah, this one, to, uh, to set it, I'd be starting here and I'd push it, boom, into the true gate. False gate would never come into play unless you overset that one. Second one, I only had to push a little bit. So again, start it at this side, push it, boom, drop into the true gate. False gate never comes into play unless you overset. Third one, I, I didn't, it was springy right off the, the whole time. So it, I, it must have already been resting in here. Again, if you overset it, you could get to the false gate. But fourth one, I had to push pretty far. Same deal, false gate is after the fact. Well, that's pretty disappointing, none of them have the false gate before. Again, false gate after the fact. So, eh, not so, they have false gates, but they never come into play. And I don't know, it looks like this this one gets pretty close to max lift, as far as I can tell, because you're gonna hit the, the warding. Same thing with this one, gets pretty close to max lift. And so if the, if the false gates aren't coming into play in max lifts, they nev never will. 
anyways, uh, the MNC Color Pro. Uh, no, not Color Pro. MNC Color Plus. Thanks, everyone. Bye.